The Sixers four quarters away from moving on to the Eastern Conference Finals. But the Sixers went back to some history, inviting Allen Iverson to deliver the game ball. And what a great ovation from the Philadelphia crowd. AI back where he starred for the Sixers. In the first quarter, here comes Elton Brand, the big man, the steal, handles the rock, and finishes. Philadelphia was up by three. But back on the other end of the floor, it was the Celtics veteran. Paul Pierce, the spin, comes back and drains the jumper. That tied the game at 17. Philly led by three after one. Now we pick it up in the second quarter, where Philadelphia is up by one. You can make it three again. Drew Holiday gets to the rack. The boy Allen blocks Petrus, and the Sixers are off and running the other AI. Andre Iguodala, the high riser. More second quarter action back to the Celtics, where they began to take over. In the post, Kevin Garnett gets the jumper to fall. Philadelphia's lead was trimmed to just one, under 10 seconds left in the half. Ray John Rondo over to Michael Petrus. Splash! He gets a big triple. Playing in place of Avery Bradley, Ray Allen was struggling. Third quarter, here's Evan Turner. Drives to the hole, reverse style, and an opportunity for one more. Phillies back in front by two. Now Andre Iguodala gets it on the perimeter and then just explodes to the cup. The thunderous dunk by AI, plus the foul. Phillies back in front by 546-41. But back on the other end, Paul Pierce misses. The little guy, Rondo, tips it in. We're tied at 48 and 48. Back to the Sixers. Drew Holiday over to Spencer Hawes. Hawes, the big man, showing the range. Hawes gets it done. It was 52-48. Philadelphia really came out of the locker room strong, dominated the third quarter. On to the decisive fourth quarter. Lou Williams passes to Drew Holiday. Holiday drives in for the layup, gets the friendly roll at home. 67-59. Now 7.20 to go in the game. Lou Williams drives to the pole, high arcing shot, and with seven minutes to go, the Sixers are up by 11. Could they hold it? Here comes the Celtics. Rondo over to Kevin Garnett. 76-69, the Celtics staying involved. But back on the other end of the floor, Andre Iguodala drives and finds Elton Brand, and the veteran knocks down the baseline. Jay, 78-69 at that point. Sixers hang on to win it. They dominate the points of the paint, 42-16, and force a decisive Game 7, which will be played Saturday in Boston.